I'm going to show you guys the fastest way that I know of to farm your blade skill in Cyberpunk 2077. I'm going to show you the area, I'm going to show you the method, the perks you'll want, where to get different legendary blades, the katana, the knife, the mantis blades, whichever one you want to use, and some tips and tricks along the way. And I just want to give a quick shout out before we start to C4 Forever in my Discord for giving me all the tips and tricks on blades as far as location to find the free ones, uh, best uh, perks to get, and everything. This guy just knew everything about blades, so big shout out to C4 Forever. First thing you want to do is pick your weapon of choice. Do you want to use a katana? Do you want to use a knife? Uh, what do you want to use? Uh, you want to get it to your level. If you're level 50, it's easier because you'll have higher crit chance on the weapon. Uh, but yeah, you got to decide what you're going to use. I personally use a katana because the extended range is very nice. And at level 50, you can get it to where it's basically 100% crit. Uh, and then the area we're going to be using for this is in this alleyway by Pershing Street. We've used this for a lot of other trick, uh, a lot of other farming guides. And we're going to be using it again today because I I picked this one because you can do it at any level because these enemies are low level. They scale with your level, but they start at low level. So even at low level, you can farm blades here. You come in from over there. That's where I was looking on the map, getting through this alleyway. Uh, and then there are two groups of enemies, one here, one there. Important thing you need to know, uh, the second group only spawns like at night, basically. So you're going to want to make sure it's nighttime whenever you're here or else the second group won't spawn. Also... Extremely important to know because I get asked this question every single time I make a farming video. If your blade skill will not go up, it's because it's capped at reflexes. Your blades cannot go higher than your reflexes. I have three blades right now. I have to level up reflexes if I want to gain more blades XP. So make sure you know that because I will get asked that in the comments. There's a 100% chance. Uh, okay, so the basically the simple method is to use the speed exploit, jumping between this group and that group, going as fast as you can. You want to use the strongest melee weapon you have. Ideally, you can one-shot these guys. Also, uh, you want to change the mode to easy because uh, you do not get more blades experience on very hard. And I will actually show that towards the end of the video if you want to stick around. if In case you're, you're, you're a doubter, uh, I will actually show it. Show you that it does not make a difference. Uh, so, uh, it's pretty simple. So, the method here is uh, you're going to want to chop up these guys. I'm doing it slow on purpose. And then you're just going to speed exploit over to these guys. And it's that simple. Uh, some thing, well, something else you really should do, though, is go to your backpack. And uh, go to your consumables. And you are going to want to drink stuff for stamina. You can stack two of these at a time. You should always have these going. As long as you have these going, you should have basically infinite stamina and never have to worry about it. So that will also speed up the process for you. But you're going to speed exploit over to these guys. you got to chop them up. You're gonna make sure you touch over here by this dumpster. That makes that gives you a 100% chance that the other guys respawn. Then you're gonna speed exploit back. Now, if these guys are like in combat, just kill them immediately. But if they're not, you might want to go past them first and come back. Because in order to spawn the second group, you're gonna want to go all the way back to around here. So uh, when you're already in the speed exploit, it's kind of easier to just go there and then kill those guys. But sometimes those guys are already aggroed. And if that happens, you're just gonna have to take them out, unfortunately. Uh, so, this is the basic method that you're going to be using. Uh, but then anything else you can do to speed it up is super nice. Uh, anything for movement speed, anything for crit chance. Uh, the katana I have has uh, all crit chance mods on it. Which are not hard to get. You can get them in almost any melee vendor, but I will show it later on in the video, so stay tuned. Uh, we have three white knuckled uh, weapon mods, which brings it almost 100%. And now we need to take a look at perks. So you're going to want to go to your perks. And uh, it depends on how much you want to be a blades build. Because uh, you, these can only go up based on your reflexes. And obviously blade can't, blades can't go higher than your reflexes. But uh, if you're going to go full all in, you're going to be like level 18 or 20 reflexes. Then uh, you're definitely going to want judge, jury, and executioner. It'll speed this up a lot because it'll guarantee a one shot because they're full health when you go up to them. If you get level three of this, uh, you matter, almost no matter what legendary katana you have or legendary melee weapon, you'll just one tap them unless, you're, unless your weapon has fallen behind and it's like a level 10 weapon and now you're level 40 or something. But if your weapon is actually up to your level, uh, this should almost guarantee a one shot. And then uh, I want to, oh my gosh, I forgot what the other one was. Uh, oh, this was it. Uh, increased crit chance with blades by 20%, especially at level 50. 
if you get this along with those mods I just showed, you'll actually have a 100% chance to crit. So that will also be super nice. Uh, and then the other one, uh, well, Flight of the Sparrow is nice. Reduced stamina cost of all blades. Guarantees you'll never run out, even though you probably won't run out. And then there's one in here for dodging. Uh, it was... Uh, there we go. Dodging. Oh, no. Dodging increases damage. Wait, I'm sorry. Sorry, I'm getting lost here. Okay, here it is. Shifting sand. Dodging recovers 15% stamina. If at any point somehow you're running out of stamina, that should fix it because you're using the speed exploit and then it should make it not as bad. So there's a, a different combination of things you can get in here that'll make this easier, faster, uh, not run out of stamina, guarantee one shots, things like that. Uh, it just depends on how much you want to spec into blades. But you do want to maximize your legendary weapon by getting the best one that you can possibly get. Uh, also, I think I said it, but maybe I didn't say it. I will link the speed exploit video in the description. I have an advanced guide on how to do it where I go into like all the little details on it. Uh, so if you don't know how to do this speed exploit like this, uh, you can go watch that. Like I said, I'll link that in the description below. Uh, I'm going to kill these guys real fast and then we'll move on to the next topic. Oh, also, I do want to say, uh, if you knock these guys out, uh, you can kill them again, but it doesn't actually give blades, sadly, which I have tested. Also, I just realized my audio is horribly desynced. I'll, I'll have to fix that before the next part of this video. Uh, okay, so now we're going to move on to how to get different blades. There's actually some that you can get for free. There's also uh, shops. Uh, I'm going to show you the ones you can get for free. I'll also show you the one that I think knife, a knife. I don't know of uh, getting it from a shop. I'll show you what shop you can get that from. Uh, and I'll show you about the uh, mods that you can use for like, crit chance and stuff. You should be able to get any melee vendor, but I'll just show you real fast. And uh, anything else I can show. So uh, stay tuned. We'll show you everything that you're going to need in order to do this weapons-wise. First place I'm going to show you <coughs> to get legendary blades. Uh, you might want to get a two-for-one here if you're high enough level. You're going to need to be around level 20 to 30 to actually do this, probably. So we are here in... Uh, Corpo Plaza. Uh, gonna go right here. There is a side job right here by the Hayes Halsey and MLK fast travel. Or you can go to the uh, Arasaka Tower. And you'll go to right here. There's an entrance right here. The street's like over there. Back in this little nest, there's a Cyber Psycho side job. And in here, say uh, you should save before you come here though, because in here there should be a legendary Mantis Blade uh, that you can just grab. And if you're low level, you can actually just grab that and run. At least you got the legendary Mantis Blade. Uh, if you kill the guy, though, I've been told he gives a katana. But we will see if that's actually true. But I'm pretty sure he gives a katana. But here are legendary Mantis Blades. Uh, also, wow, Cyberware mod for Tiger Paw. Uh, but yeah, so here's a Cyber Psycho. If I can take him out. The hell is this? Oh, I full healed. What? What just happened? Oh, okay, you've chased him. So I've never actually done this before. I would just grab the Mantis Blade. But I was told this guy drops Katana. Yeah. I'm pretty sure this guy drops Katana. But we'll see. Yeah, he pulls out a Katana. <laughs> as soon as he pulls out a Katana, I'm like, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah he has Katana. Be careful not to die. I'm very hard. You could easily uh, die if you just hard chase like that, like I did. I only did that because this is on easy right now. He's down. I'm just going to ignore that guy. Uh, and he has, yep, the legendary katana on him. Uh, you might be able to reroll this with save loads. I don't know if you can do it after he's dead already. But you should be able to do it before he's dead at least. Uh, save load this till you get it with different stats possibly. I'm not even sure. Uh, it's not the best katana, but hey, there's a free legendary katana. So these, I want to show you the free stuff first. These are the only free ones I know about. Uh, but now we're going to move on to... Uh, where to buy legendary uh, katana, where to buy a legendary knife. You don't need the legendary mantis blades. The ones from there will, will, will work. And if you need legendary mantis blades and those didn't work with 40 street cred and a bunch of money, you can get them at the Ripper Dock over here. And I think the Ripper Dock over there. So mantis blades are a totally different story. But uh, yeah, we're going to move on now to the legendary knife, legendary katana shops. 
The next place you're going to want to go, if you want a katana this time, is at V's apartment. From the fast travel, you go through here and back to this place, in case you forgot how to get to this guy, uh, once he renders it on PS4. So this guy has a legendary katana. I think he has other stuff, but I did not mean to sit down. Uh, he has leg a legendary katana, which is really nice because... You can, since he has it at a shop, you can just really quickly re-roll it. As long as you can afford it. It's super expensive if you're high level. But if you're wondering where to buy a legendary katana, that's at V's apartment. And just like any other melee vendor, like I said before, melee vendors, they'll always have the mods in stock. And you just refresh them to buy more. So if you want the damage, or if you want the attack speed, crit chance, or crit damage, uh, you just buy one, back out, wait 24 hours, buy one, back out, wait 24 hours until you've got as many as you want. Also, I don't know how to get off this, but either way, <laughs> this guy is, again, at the apartment, but I just want to show you on the map. It's this uh, melee weapon vendor right here in Watson at V's apartment. But now we're going to move on to where to get the legendary knife. The next location you're going to consider going, especially if you want a knife, is the docks. This place is over here in Watson. There's a weapon vendor right here, weapon shop. Uh, fast travels right there. You just go straight across the street. It's over here in a shipping a series of shipping crates basically uh, This guy has a bunch of different things, but the main thing for the purpose of this video is that he sells the legendary knife uh, You can re-roll this legendary knife as many times as you want till you get a knife that you like uh, You I would re-roll it till it has high crit chance and crit damage probably but you know however you want to re-roll it so uh, that is Legendary Knife. This guy's also got some decent mods and decent scopes when you reroll them. So that's something else to think about. Check them out for other purposes. Uh, and now we're going to move on to the Legendary Machete. That's right. There's one more blade for us to check out. So we're going to move on to the Legendary Machete. By the way, uh, if you want to refresh the shop, you got to leave the guy's shop all the way out here. But now we're going to move on to the Machete. The final location I'm going to show you is where to buy the machete, legendary machete. It is in northeast Japan town by Skyline and Salinas. Uh, it is across the street. There's a weapon shop, so there is the fast travel across the street. Rifles and pistols. Uh, go open up that. This guy sells the legendary machete. So between all this, you got a lot of options. Uh, there you go. Legendary machete. You can re-roll this as many times as you want until you get one that you like with stats that you like. Uh, obviously, the higher level you are, the better the bonus stats will be, like I've said before. Uh, so keep that in mind when re-rolling. And also for the third time, because I know people will ask it, is your blades cannot go higher <laughs> than your reflex of the tribute. I'm just going to throw it just randomly in the middle of nowhere. Okay, and one other thing to throw in here for the Mantis Blades, you can actually get at the Ripper Dock. I think it was this. Yeah, this Ripper Dock right here in Japantown. Uh, you can get a rotor that will increase the attack speed of the Mantis Blades. And then there's a secret Ripper Dock that I showed in a secret Ripper Docks video that only pops up once you've been near him once over here in Watson. And he sells something else for attack speed that I think combos with the Mantis Blades. So uh, you might want to check those out if you want to go the Mantis Blades route. Now I'm going to show you guys what I meant about you get the same amount of blade XP no matter what the difficulty is. So... Right now, we are on easy, but I want to show it. I want to prove what's going on here. So, we are on easy right now. And we have reflexes uncapped. Reflexes at 3 with 0 out of 1,435. We're going to go up. We're going to kill one guy. And we're going to see how much it gives us. Okay, one guy down with a power attack. Gave 202. Okay, now let's look at very hard difficulty. Now I'm going to show how much experience you get when it's on very hard. We have reflexes 4, blades at 3, 0 out of 1, 4, 3, 5. Now, since I power attack, I'm going to power attack only till this guy's dead and hope that I don't get killed because it's on very hard. Okay, so he's dead. We did two power attacks to take him out. And we got 202. I think we got 203 on easy, actually. So basically the same thing, though. It's the same exact amount. I think if you kill them with weak attacks, it's 135 each time. And I've tried that also on easy and very hard. So for any of you doubters out there, uh, changing the difficulty does not change the amount of skill experience 
that you get. That is it for the Blades Farming or X Blades XP Farming Guide that I have. Uh, special shout out to C4 Forever for helping me on a lot of this information. That guy just knew everything there is to know about blades, including locations of things. Uh, so big shout out to him. And uh, hopefully this helps you level up your blades. Uh, if you guys know of a better exploit where you can level blades faster than 150,000 experience per hour, be sure to comment and I will investigate, especially if it's a major upgrade. You know, you go from that to like a million an hour or some crazy thing, then I'll probably just make a whole new video on that. Uh, like if someone finds a hardcore exploit, but... That's pretty much everything that you need to know. So now uh, you can get out there and farm Blades XP, and now you know the fastest way to level up Blades in Cyberpunk 2077. If this video helped you, consider helping us by subscribing to our channel. Tap this button over here and hit the red subscribe button. Subscriptions help a lot even if you never watch our videos again. Ha 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 ha!